Hey guys, Mr. Sobel here, and today we're going to be making some Jack's Pizza, not DiGiorno. Back in the same old kitchen, same mess. Actually, I think it was cleaner last time, but anyway. Check out that sunset. You can't really see it, never mind. But today I'll be teaching you guys how to make Jack's Pizza. Not to be confused with my dog, Jack, which is standing in there currently wanting to bark at people. Alright, so step one is to preheat the oven to... 425 so wait actually let me make sure good okay we store popcorn bowls in there and sometimes stuff happens so bake whoops 25 425 we wait for that to preheat and then we'll continue to our next step next step your pizza should come into and pizza should come in a bag thing like this it might be in a box when you first buy it Jack's for some reason seems to be a really popular buy around the Springfield Missouri area don't know why but uh, apparently they support um, Wisconsin farmers by uh, using 100% real Wisconsin cheese on their pizzas which is why I love their freaking cheese so much by the way it tastes so good um, now before I do this I want to let you guys know I do have some bacon uh, the brand of bacon we will be using is Black Label um, Hormel bacon since 1891. Really, really old. It's natural hardwood smoke, fully cooked, original bacon. So that's what we're gonna put on our pizza to give it that more of a, something I like better. You know, I like DiGiorno better than Jack's in my opinion. That's just how I eat pizza. Jack's is okay, but I like bacon on it to make it better. Um, and you're also gonna need, you don't have to have this. In fact, most people don't. Do this but you're gonna need a pizza tray of some sorts if you want to make life easier and not have to figure out how to give it get it off the oven rack and um, hopefully like there's other risk of putting it directly on the oven rack so let me cut this open and put it on the tray so once you cut a slit in it, it should be really easy and you can just kind of peel it like that I mean, this stuff is weaker than clean wrap. Make sure when you're transferring your pizza to a tray or to the oven that there's no cardboard underneath it. Uh, so make sure that the cardboard piece that it comes on. Hold on, I'm gonna eat some frozen cheese real quick. Mm. Make sure you still have this. Now we wait. Now that your oven is preheated on 425, they say to put one pizza in for between 11 and 13 minutes. I find 12 seems to work the best, so let's do that. In 12 minutes, let's check on the pizza. Look at that, nice and bubbly. I think I'll leave it in for 13 minutes and see how, how it turns out. Look at that pizza, yes, delicious, with some bacon on top, and all you need now is a pizza cutter or something to cut the pizza with, and there you go. There's how you make pizza, Jack's edition. Bon appetit. Trust nobody. I don't even trust my mind. I'm losing everybody. They can never take the ground. People always switch their sides. People always in my line. Never ask me how I'm doing. They just wanna waste my time. So I don't hate nobody. Just stay up on my life and I won't hurt nobody. So just stay up on my sights. 